thing that I'm speaking now, but um, okay. So uh, for those of you who are just showing up now, what has just happened has been the dumbest fucking thing I've ever done. So the last 40 minutes, I've been assuming that it's been picking up my mic, but it hasn't been. Oh my god. So, so everything I said, I guess, doesn't matter because you didn't hear it. So, hopefully you're hearing it now. Can you hear my voice now? Okay, good. Awesome. Yeah, it was something with OBS. I forgot to turn it on. Well, no, I, it's not that I forgot to turn it on. It's for some reason it wouldn't take the default, so I just forced it to take this mic, so... God damn it. Okay, well, anyways, um, so you, you've you seen me for the last, like, 30 or 40 minutes, like, uh, killing shit, you know. Unfortunately, there was no sound, but now you will get sound. Um, so, so anyways, uh, the reason why everything's all fucked up is because um, in mid-September, uh, there was a fire in my apartment which caused everyone to be displaced including myself so that's why I'm in a hotel room right now and it's taken me a while to get all my streaming stuff back and yeah that's why everything's a bit fucked up so like I was saying before when you couldn't hear me this guy looks really fucking menacing he's not that tough though because he's big so he has a big fucking swing Why is it not letting me, it wasn't letting me roll for something. So anyways, how are you doing, uh, Ninja, Mr. Ninja Man? For some reason, that charge makes it so I can't do anything. That's weird. Finally killed you, you fuck. <sighs> oh, that's cool. Fallout 4 is a fun game. Okay, so this is a completely different area, so I don't. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get everything here. Oh, are you real? You are real, so you're gonna die, motherfucker. There's someone up in that tower trying to shoot me. I'm gonna go straight for that tower then. I guess these guys are dead.
Oh, okay, really? Oh, that's cool. So, you only encounter him at level 95. Wow. To level up in Fallout 4 takes forever. So getting to level 95 must have taken a while. Ah. That didn't take as long. Okay. So I think that was the archer I killed, maybe not. Let's see what's up here. That'd be funny if they knocked the ladder down, like, haha, fuck you. Although I don't know how else you could get up here, but... Oh, there's the archer. Okay, he's glitching out for some reason. Actually, what would have been better to would be to knock that guy off the roof like that, so. Well, fucking shit. God, this... Well, I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just going to take forever to kill that guy. We're going to have to go back to the other bonfire. So apparently there is two distinct directions, which is nice. Okay, hold on one second. All right, sorry about that. Yeah, but that kind of takes the fun out of it, I guess. Uh, if you download quest mods, you know what I mean? Because it's like, you didn't really achieve anything. All you did was uh, download a mod.
<sighs> Actually, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this shit. Fuck that fucking shield. Well, the fan, yeah, I, I agree with you there, but if you haven't beat the whole game in the vanilla mode, then I would, that that should be a rule of thumb for any player that um, you should beat the game in vanilla mode before you even do anything uh, with mods, but that's just me, I don't know, because I feel like what's the point of buying the game, just buy mods, you know? You can buy just mods and mess around with mods. Look at like Gary's mods or whatever. Which I don't understand why people think that's fun. I guess I good on them. I guess I I don't think that would be fun. But that's just me. So. Because all mods are is you're basically too lazy to program something yourself, so you download something else from, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. I guess I've always, I, I really haven't been for mods. I'm not like a mod, a pro mod person. But that's just me, I guess. The only reason I'm really not pro mod is because of CSGO and just normal CS. So the reason why is because CS is heavily moddable and when you go into some places it's modded up so much it's like okay this is some really weird crazy shit. So. And it's not even the original game anymore, so... I'm not... I'm not really anti-mods, it's just something I, I'm not gonna ever do, so... And maybe that makes me, like, an old fuddy-duddy? I don't know. Maybe video games will eventually be nothing but mods, who knows. Who knows? I guess I think of mods the same way I think of religion. It's cool if you do it, but I'm not doing it. I, I love the way that guy looks. I wonder if you can get his armor set. Actually, you know, why am I not using this? I should be using this. Uh, oh, yay! Thank you, asshole. Now I lost all my souls. Fuck. Oh, well. Ugh. I mean, because... Another thing with mods is there's way too many. I, I mean, I know it's because it's user made, so there could be like infinite amounts, but that's another reason why I don't get into mods. There's just way too many. Um, and I'd rather just play the normal game, but that's just me, so. And like I said, that'll probably be the evolution of games, that everything will just be a mod because people will get tired of going through the effort of making like a full-blown game. So they're like, why don't we just make a mod for a game? I don't know 
know why I'm playing this one. Ah, man, I'm fucking up. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and kill me. Yep, that's what I thought would yeah. happen. Yeah, um, yeah, that's another problem. Because, uh, you know, these days, and I guess that's probably why mods are so popular, because these days, when a company releases a game, it's not it's not at all complete except for a few companies that are still actually good at developing games like this company from software but there are some games that come out that are just incomplete from the start and it's just like what the fuck so i mean that i i mean i can see mods being an alternative in that case but but usually those games that are incomplete do not have mods And actually, mods do help extend the life of the game because it adds like a community, another community thing to it. Ugh. Too many assholes around here. But, like I said, I'm not anti-mod, I just, there, there's, there's just way too many of them, and by the time I beat a game and get to the point where I want to use mods, there's already a bunch of other games that have come out, so. And, uh, like, if you say, if some of the, if some of the mods are really well done, I mean, that would be cool, I mean, to play it, I mean, that's, kind of what this DLC is. It's a mod from, but it's, you know, it's from the developer, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just too old to accept mods. Although mods have been around quite a while, like at least uh, like 20 or 30 years. Oh yeah, that's right, I remember hearing about that. Which is, that's pretty cool that Bethesda would do that, because Bethesda's an actually quality company. They actually make really good games, but not like a shit company like EA. And yes, I did say EA is a shit company. Um, but you don't need to hear me say that, everyone says that. Yet, they keep making sales because there's a lot of retarded, uh, I guess, consumers. But no, that's cool that you got a job making a mod. Um, it, it's similar to when they gave uh, they gave some guy a job for getting like Rake 1 in, uh, in Hearthstone. Uh, like, they gave him a job at uh, Blizzard, which is pretty cool. I take a job at Blizzard.
Oh yeah, I was gonna use this thing against him. This time around. Oh, you have to get the warm up, that's right. You need a warm up to use this fucking sword. Like, you need at least a few seconds to warm shit up. Yeah, it's not worth it. It's not doing that much more damage. Yay, I got killed again. God fucking damn it. I'm just getting fucked up now. Let's see, how long have I been going? Another 20 minutes I've been going just getting my ass kicked. Oh, if, if they make Diablo 4, it's got to be completely different. Because if they don't go in a different direction, if they do the same thing, people are not going to care about Diablo 4 anymore. Um, just because they've done this... They... I, I mean, everyone loved Diablo. Diablo was amazing. And Diablo 2 improved upon Diablo 1. But then Diablo 3 was just a... Just like a shit version of Diablo, in my opinion. It wasn't as good. It was okay. But they dumbed it down a lot, and then there's all this RNG bullshit, which, uh... Yeah, so I'm just gonna use this sword against these guys with the shield, because it throws them off. It throws them off their, their shield chi by doing this shit. Don't need it for these guys because they don't have shields. So. But yeah, if they can make Diablo 4, if, if they do make a Diablo 4, it's got to be different. It's got to be different somehow uh, than the first three games because, if, like I said, uh, it's they really fuck. They've really dropped the ball with Diablo 3, so they have to make up for it by doing something different. <laughs> At least that's my opinion. But, the, but they might... Uh, now Blizzard is actually a pretty competent company too, so they'll pro they, they might do something different, who knows. See, Blizzard is kind of half competent. They're, they're competent in making games, but they are not at all... Um, they, they do not care. I shouldn't say they're competent. They do not care when it comes to like uh, community and shit like that. Like they do not care about their fan base. They just know that people will buy the game because it's a high quality game. But as for, I I mean yeah, they will help people out and shit. Like, but I've always found Blizzard to be a cold company in that they don't. They don't seem to give their players a lot of, uh, I don't know, a lot of help with the diff different things. Maybe that's just my bias. I don't know. But they do make amazing games. They do make amazing games. They're also starting to do the same dumb shit that other companies are doing where they release games that are not finished. For example, if you tell me that I'll, like uh, Overwatch is finished. Fuck you. It's not finished. the The characters are finished, but like they they only offered you like a bunch of a bu like only a few maps and only a few uh, ways to um, do things. So in my opinion, it was not finished. They just tried to get it out as soon as they could. Yeah, exactly. They should have. Yeah, when it comes to Diablo 3, they should have kept the game currency. That was awesome. But, I don't know. They went for this Paragon bullshit, which. I, I That's when I zoned out of Diablo 3. That's when I'm like, okay, fuck this, I'm out. Like, as soon as they went to Paragon, like, using, like, your Paragon level or whatever, I just. I. 
I, I didn't care after that, so... I will say Diablo, out of all of their creations, is probably their most fun. Oh, damn it, am I gonna die to the fucking... Okay. Right. Yeah, it's probably good you don't play Overwatch. Overwatch is a good game, it's a competent game, but like I said, there's all, it came out with like four maps and only three modes of play, so you would think that would be enough, but nope. You, You'll get sick of it after playing it for like a few weeks because it's the same shit over and over again. Now, the good thing about Overwatch, the reason why people play it all the time is because they have like 20 or so unique characters. And they did a good job with that. I will give them that. They did a very competent job with that. But... If you're going to make a multiplayer only game, you got to have more than four maps and three modes of play. You got to do something like like 18 maps and like seven modes of play or something. Like that. You have to you like it you can go multiplayer only, but you need so many um you need so many ways to play it that people are not going to get bored. Attack throws me off. Oh, I got him. Good. Uh, uh, blah. I do like fighting these guys. Now, when it comes to this company, From Software, From Software knows what players want and they know how to treat their players with respect. You know, some shit is some shit is kind of stupid. Like there are glitches that end up getting you killed, but uh, for the most part they fixed most of those in ways that that I'm satisfied with. Come on, you ass. Well, you're dead now, asshole. Alright, god, I can't believe I'm still doing this shit. <laughs> okay, I'm not even gonna bother with the other guy. See, like, with Diablo 3, like, the new season stuff you're talking about, I... Like, that's when I zoned out, so I don't even know how that works. Because I figured, as soon as I learned how that works, I would say, that's fucking dumb, I don't care. So you're basically confirming what I I, I had a suspicion about with Diablo 3. Diablo, like, Battle.net has got really fucking shitty lately. I don't know why. It feels that way, I don't know. Maybe it's not. There is an asshole up here. I guess... He had drop on his head, I guess. Come on! I couldn't do anything! I guess that's not really a glitch, it's just something they could fix so that you at least have enough time to move out of the way. Oh shit, okay, I'm going to give it one more go and then I'm going to be done for a while because I'm getting kind of tired, I need to eat some more food or do something, so... But this is fun, I mean, I'm having a good time. I don't quite want to go over the painted bridge yet um, because I do want to finish that other part with the tower. Should 
actually, I don't know why I keep using the... Blah! Blah! was an interesting attack. With this sword. I do like that avalanche, that's pretty funny. This DLC uh, should be called Animal Abuse. Did I say DLC? I meant DLC, sorry. <laughs> Ashes of Andariel, aka um, Animal Abuse the Game, or Wolf Killer. <laughs> oh, there's still some more over there. Why are you calling more of your buddies? They're all dead. They're gonna be dead. There's one more, yep, right there. No, we got them all. Alright. Oh, shit, one more. Blech. They don't drop many souls. I wonder what the boss is like in this game. I'm sure, I'm sure so many people have already beaten this DLC. Skip this guy, but don't really want to. Backstab. So yeah, there are some guys down there. I'm not even going to worry about them. I'm going to go straight to the tower. Oh, 
actually do. Waiting for me, weren't ya? Whoa! I'm dead! I'm dead! I'm dead! How did I not die? Well, I'm gonna die. Yep. Got fucked up there. All right. Um, all right. That's good for now. I'm gonna. I'm gonna um, take a break. I might come back. I might not. We'll see what happens. But, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, it was fun. It's nice that I can actually talk to you and you can see me and stuff like that. So. Um, anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next uh, stream. So, see you later.